One of the elements that make Mutable Instruments such an interesting company is their open source approach to module development. Not only does the company support their customers by actively updating their module firmware, Mutable invites others to improve and recode their gear. This has led to a small community of developers taking it upon themselves to reconfigure the internal design of the modules, expanding on the built-in design, and in many cases, contributing additional functionality. One user, Matthias Puesh, has created a series of reconfigured firmware called Parasites, coding one for frames, tides, clouds, and most recently warps, adding a tremendous amount of functions not found in the original design. Another developer, Tim Churches, created an alternative firmware for braids called Bees in the Trees, which vastly expands the range of an already complex oscillator. Of course, Mutable creates their own updated firmware versions as needed, occasionally building in new functionality such as the braids meta mode which we explored in another video. All of these alternative designs share the same installation procedure as the official Mutable Instruments firmware. Firmware updates for Mutable modules take the form of audio files. By playing back one of these audio files through an audio interface into a specific input on the module, the firmware is updated. As the Mutable instructions warn, take care not to play these audio files through your speakers, especially at high volume, as the levels may change drastically and could cause damage. Disconnect your speakers or headphones from your audio interface completely to avoid any accidents of this nature. Close any other applications that may be running in the background to ensure that no other audio sources play back while the firmware is updating. It's important to make sure that whatever audio interface you use, it's turned up to an appropriate level, or the module will not be able to accurately analyze the incoming data. Route your interface or headphone output directly to the appropriate input on the module, usually an audio rate input, in the case of braids, the FM input, in the case of warps, the carrier input. Generally, the process begins by restarting your system while holding down one of the panel buttons, making sure that no other cables are connected to the module. Play the audio file out through your audio interface. You can even use your cell phone headphone output, just to make sure the volume level is turned all the way up. These files are usually about 90 seconds to 2 minutes long, so this is a great chance to get a cup of coffee or pet your cat. Most likely, the module will give some sort of visual feedback through the update procedure, returning to normal upon completion. Once the installation is finished, the update should be applied, and the module should go back into working order ready to play. Be sure to double check the firmware installation process according to your specific Mutable Instruments modules manual. In the case of warps, the alternative Parasites firmware offers a host of additional functionality to the existing nine modulation modes, including a binaural Doppler panner, easy access to the warps frequency shifter Easter egg mode, and four different modes of a slapback delay, which doubles as a chorus or flanger. We'll look deeper into the alternative firmware on some of these modules in coming videos. Thanks for watching, and as always, please like, follow, and subscribe.